Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my minimalist wardrobe. So if you do not agree with this being minimalist, that is totally up to you. It fits with my own definition of minimalism, which I've talked about a couple different times. It's not about owning the least amount of stuff, it's about owning only what you need and what you use and what you find value in. I have put together a wardrobe that suits all those. So. I'm going to show it to you today. I will say I'm not including any of my drag stuff or any of my work stuff or cosplay and pajamas or whatever else stuff like that. This is just like tops and bottoms for daily use. And I also threw in all of my coats and like overwear as well. So without further ado, let me show you. You could consider it like a capsule wardrobe if you've looked into those at all because everything is kind of the same color and it is organized seasonally so I keep everything towards the one side that I'm wearing at the moment and because it's summer right now I have everything organized from like lightest or like most comfortable in the heat basically to least comfortable so all my clothes are back here what I'm wearing today is a black crop top that's got like holes in it it's from Amazon and then I have some high-waisted light wash mom jeans. If you're curious to know where everything is from, um, I'm making another video on my Graveyard Vomit channel about where everything's from and stylistic choices. Basically here I'm just going to be talking about why I have these things, like what use I have for them. Like this shirt for example is extremely cool. I wear it whenever I go anywhere super hot, like I'm going to a theme park or something. I live in Florida, it's the summer, this shirt saved my life. And as for the jeans, I actually just came from doing something semi-ish formal. So I had in my one formal shirt, which I'll show you, tucked into these and it made like an outfit that was somewhat businessy, you know what I mean? All right, so I have this patch jacket I just got this um, regular denim vest and then I covered it in all these patches. I wear these, I wear this to like spice up outfits and if it's really cold out I can wear it on top of a jacket and adds an extra layer of insulation. Alright another little crop top that's great for the summer, I made this one. It has sloths on it, it has a bit of a longer sleeve than shirts like this do so it adds just a teensy bit more warmth. I got this white crop top recently. I'll, otherwise I never wear white, but this I got because I was going on vacation to a southern state during the summer and I just needed to ensure that I wasn't going to overheat. So it is very flowy. It's too big for me. They weren't selling my size, but um, it does keep me very cool. Alright, another smaller black crop top. This one has a hood. I actually do utilize the hood even though basically this shirt is an enigma, you know, it's not long sleeve, so the hood is kind of awkward, but I will wear on days that are sunny and humid with like a chance of rain, so I can put the hood up. All right, getting into t-shirts. I have this one, this is Feeling Philosophical. Any t-shirt, especially gray shirt I'm gonna show you, is essential just because it makes me feel more masculine when I wear it. I have a Post Malone shirt. This is my like cast and crew nether spawn shirt from Netherworld. All right, beautiful people will ruin your life by the wombat shirt. Bad Boys Club, Monkey Python's Flying Circus. Eat pigs, not figs. I have this shirt for festivals. Vegan festivals, of course. Funkle. This shirt from UK Custom Plugs that is black and gray tie dye and has the skeletons and a heart on it. Tattooed and employed and an unknown pleasure is joy to business shirt in Japanese. Basically, t-shirts are incredibly versatile items. I like to keep this many because I feel like I still get a fair amount of variety in my wardrobe, but not too many that these, like that there's some of them that don't get worn, you know what I mean? When I used to own a lot of, lot of clothes, there were like t-shirts that I wouldn't wear for years at a time. So I have enough now that I still get a lot of use out of every single one of them, but I have enough so that my outfits stay interesting. And these are things that I can wear when it's very hot out on their own, or I can layer them with more stuff for when it's colder. I have a couple sweater crop tops. This one says pleasures on it. As far as minimalism goes, this is somewhat of a strange, useless object. 
but the way that I use them is kind of seasoning or season transition time. So like as it's becoming fall or becoming winter, depending on where I'm living, this is a good thing to wear for a good month or two um, on its own. And I only have high waisted pants, so it's not like I'm getting the benefit from the sleeves, but not the torso. So it's kind of like a light sweater to wear during those times. And then when it actually gets formally cold, I just throw another jacket on top. And I have this other sweater crop top with lacing. Okay, I have this plaid black and gray shirt. This is good for layering when it's a little bit cold out or rainy, something like that. And it's a nice thing to just like tie around your waist in case you need it later if you're going somewhere cold like a movie theater. All right, this is like my favorite lighter jacket. This definitely goes well under heavier jackets because it's very form fitting. It's got like thumb holes in it, has a cowl neck and um, a pocket and like a scooped bottom, longer in the back. And honestly, it looks really good on me. I love it. <laughs> I've got this heavier faux leather bomber jacket and it's got like fabric sleeves and hood pretty standard here is a fluffier more extravagant jacket um coat really sorry um it's a bit longer it's good for more formal events in the winter when i am doing something more feminine uh, but i still wear it and like no matter what I'm wearing, because I, as you can see from like all of my clothes, a lot of these are women's clothes, uh, I'm not conforming to like a gender binary with my clothes here at all. No. Levi's jean jacket. This was my dad's when he was my age. It is very thick. It goes well on top of other jackets like the plaid shirt. And a couple extra things, this is like a button down shirt it's um somewhat formal and i will wear this to like parties where i'm not going in drag or i wear it to like interviews or presentations or things where i have to look you know cleaned up and professional but not like going to the ball you know what i mean i don't know that's the first thing i thought of <laughs> and i have two dress type things this is like a corduroy overall type thing and it has a pocket this sort of fits in for a pair of pants when i show you all of my bottoms so like let's include this in my bottoms basically um i can throw this on top of one of those crop sweaters or a t-shirt or something it's very good for hot weather because it is open and i get to feel the breeze and then this other one is another smaller like shorter dress basically pretty form-fitting. Um, I got this mainly for stylistic reasons, but it is great for this weather, and I can unzip this middle part and get more air. It's very important when you're wearing like all black in a hot climate during the summer to have things like this where you have access to the breeze. These are all of my bottoms, so including the ones I'm wearing. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven with the overall skirt. Basically, I do my laundry once a week. Sometimes I will wear like jeans more than once. I find that this is the perfect amount of pants for me and keeping more tops than bottoms helps keep my outfits interesting, especially because, you know, I post online all my clothes and fashion is just something that I'm very passionate about, but I tie minimalism into it and this is how I make it work. Very basic pair of black shorts that are distressed, good for hot weather. I've got leggings. These are good for colder weather and when I'm doing stunts um, towards the end of the year. All right, jeans that are distressed, good for colder weather. A skirt that's distressed, good for warmer weather. And then I have some elephant hair on bohemian pants. These are good for lots of things. They're good for like relaxing and going to vegan festivals and they're good for yoga and they're good for hot and cold weather because of the fabric. My pants are basically all weather related. Um, when I get into like dragon cosplay, I care a little bit more, but basically, you know, they're all black and they kind of mix and match with any of these other things. 
But yeah, that's my minimalist wardrobe. Call it what you will. That's what I call it. I appreciate you watching so much. Please check out the links below. Um, support my Patreon if you can. Let me know if there's any other videos you would like me to film. And of course, ask any questions down below about this video. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.